Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your weekly news update. Hi, I'm Brittany Palmer with news about what's going on at and around Cabrini College. And I'm Casey Semenza, and this is your weekly news update. Campus Ministry is now accepting applications for their annual search retreat. Students can spend their first weekend in April in the Poconos doing some true soul searching through learning about themselves, others, and God. Applications are due back to Campus Ministry by March 23rd, and any questions can be directed to Rosa Altamere at ra592 at cabrini.edu. As Cabrini's campus is stepping up its green initiatives, the Energy Co-op has launched a first-of-its-kind natural gas option here in Radnor, Pennsylvania. This renewable natural gas product can provide consumers in eastern Pennsylvania with an alternative to pipeline natural gas and is the only local-owned energy supplier serving the eastern part of the state for over 35 years. The Energy Co-op has dedicated itself to providing healthier and more sustainable communities and empowering others to do the same. The Pennsylvania State Education Association hosted their first school supplies drive this past week. All supplies benefited children and families in need around the Montgomery and Chester County area. I was looking for a project, a service project that the club could do and online I was searching school supply drives and I found Feel the Warmth which is an organization locally and they're having a winter school supply drive and so I contacted them and we partnered with them. Feel the Warmth is a nonprofit organization that provides school supplies, winter coats, uniforms, as well as children's books and toys to the less fortunate children in the greater Philadelphia area. Um, I knew that it was going to be difficult because on a college campus it's hard for students to go out and buy school supplies and it's hard for students to have money a lot of people don't have a lot of money they're paying for classes and gas and everything so I knew it was going to be difficult but uh, the faculty have really stepped up and they've participated in it. Donations are collected by both businesses and individuals. The donations are then carefully distributed to families in the community who are in need of assistance. As an education major, I think it's like very great that PSEA is doing this. Um, there needs to be like more events like this. As I'm trying to be a teacher, I understand like there's more like opportunities for kids that like need help and stuff. In order to be successful, you need like more resource resources. This past winter, Feel the Warmth was able to distribute over 750 backpacks, nearly 400 uniforms, and hundreds of school supplies to less fortunate students in the Montgomery and Chester County area. It's great to see Cabrini students making a difference in the area. This Lent, the Wolfington Center has decided to focus their Lenten lecture series on immigration justice. The next panel pre presentation will discuss immigration issues in the greater Philadelphia area on Monday, February 22nd. The three panelists are prominent activists for this issue and will come together to address any questions and offer help to those seeking advice about relationships and immigration. This Lenten lecture will take place in Idarola Lecture Hall at 6 p.m. Drugs run rampant on college campuses every year to the dismay of parents, public safety, and professional staff. But over the weekend, at a campus close to Cabrini, a Villanova University freshman was hospitalized after being high on LSD and viciously attacking a female student, according to Philly.com. 19-year-old Daniel Jin was arrested and jailed with a $50,000 bail set. Jin's friend, Justin Yim, who was also high on LSD, was found with $9,000 cash on him and 37 tablets of LSD in his dorm room. Thanks for watching News on Location. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Brittany Palmer. And I'm Casey Semenza. Have a great week, Cabrini.